Hello and welcome to part 5 of my React Native Firebase series. In part 4, we discussed how to update an object in our Firestore database using the document ID. And in this video, we are going to discuss how to delete an object in our database using the same document ID. So first we'll start in our foods API. In this video, we're just going to go straight ahead and make the function first. So first we're going to create our delete food method. We're going to do, actually I'm going to copy and paste this because there's a lot of it that's very similar. So we're going to change this to delete food and we're still going to pass in our food here, but now we're going to call this delete complete. We don't need this line because our object is going to be removed. We have doc.foodid or docfood.id and instead of dot set here, we want to do dot delete. And this does not take in any arguments, as you can see here. So we want to remove this. And this line will be the same for the promise, but we'll call delete complete here. So for this method, we're not actually going to pass back the food. We don't really need it. So let's delete this. It's very similar to our update food method here, but instead of delete, or instead of set, we use delete here. The next step would be to go to our food list screen. So in order to delete a specific item from our list, we need the actual index of our item. And after we delete it, the app should know that we should remove that data from our list here. Let's actually go back up here to our methods that we created and let's create one called one food Actually, let's go up here to the state first and let's create our state for our index. We are going to call this, uh, let's call it selected index. We're going to initialize it to zero. So let's go back down here to our method here and we'll do console.log index. And now we want to set our state using this.setState. I'm just going to copy and paste this actually. So let's copy and paste this and we'll come to this here in a second. So before we set our state, we actually want to know which food we need to delete. We are going to get our food list. We're just going to say var, let's say a new food list. And that's going to be equal to the current food list. So we're going to create a copy of our food list state and put it into this object. So we're going to do three dots and this dot state. I'm doing this to be safe. Remember this takes what we have in our food list and it unpacks it to a new variable called new food list. So now we want to update our food list to not include the item that we want to delete. So we're going to say new food list and there's a method called splice. If you're new to JavaScript, think of splice as a way to cut out a piece of an array based on the index and a certain length. You'll see it in action here in a second. You see that it says the start index and delete count is the number of items that we want to delete. So we can say something like delete the next three elements after the second element. So we're going to say this dot state dot selected index. We just want to delete one. So we put a one here. Okay. So now we want to set our state using this new food list. So this food list is the array that we had before our food list without the object at the selected index. So we have food list and then we want to do previous state dot food list. And then we set that equal to our new food list. So after this, we actually want to do a pop back to the food list screen. So we've done this before. So we do this dot props dot navigation. And then I'm just going to do pop to top. Okay. So that's pretty much it for our on food deleted. So this is where we're actually navigating to our food detail screen, right? So we're passing the item here but we're not passing the index that we clicked on, which is what we actually want to do. So in our own press here, we actually want to refactor this a bit. So let's do like this. 
And then we want to add the date here. So we want to do this dot. And this is where we actually want to set the selected index at. So previous date, and we have our selected index state now. And we do previous state dot selected index. But now we have a problem because we have our index here, but we don't have access to it right now in our list item. But luckily, the render item also has a index in addition to the item here. So we also have access to index here. If you are curious about what's inside of this entire object, you can just log props here and just log it and use props.item.name here if you want to. But we're just unpacking item and index because we know that it already exists in that object. So now we can set select the index to index. Okay, let's save. Okay, and that's all we actually need to do in this file now. So when we click a item here, we set the state to select the index, and then we navigate to our food detail screen. But there's one more thing here, actually, before I forget, we need to actually pass our callback to our food detail screen, because we're actually going to delete the food item from that screen. I'm going to add a parameter here. We're already passing the food, but now we want to pass in the callback. We created that here, right? So let's copy that. And I'm just going to call this uh, to be a little bit consistent. We'll do food deleted callback, okay? And we'll pass in our item, this dot, oops, this dot on food deleted. Okay, so that should be all for this file. So let's go to our detail screen. So before we get to the code here, I refactored this screen a bit. I took out the edit button from our header here. So before we had a header right, and I replaced that with a button. This is from React Native Elements. It's an icon. So, and then I added a delete button here for our food item. So we'll talk about this in a second too. So the edit button works exactly the same. So when you press this, we go to our food form screen and we get a populated food here. So if we go down here, then you can see the same code that we had before in our header button. So, And on our trash icon here, I created a on press alert. I might do a separate video on alerts at a different time, but they're pretty easy. You just do alert.alert. .alert. And you set the text here. So let's press this real quick. So you see delete cannot be undone is the sub text here. And you pass in what you want for the buttons. You can have more than two if you want to, but normally you'll just have two. The cancel button does the cancel. Okay, doesn't do anything right now. So we'll get to this in a second. So let's actually go and import our delete method. So we'll do import and we'll do delete let's actually do from api and foods api and we'll pass in delete food okay so let's go down to our render function here and we will get our method from the navigation object so we'll do constant on food delete it and equals this dot props dot navigation dot get param and we called it let's actually just copy and paste it from here just to be safe oops food deleted callback okay and now in our one press for okay so we do delete food and remember we are passing in our food object we have it up here already, food. So we pass in food. We have a callback here. So we do on food, delete it. That's actually all we need to do for this file. Let's walk through this a bit. So in our food detail screen here, we have our delete button. When we press that, we call a delete food method, which we pass in our food, which has an ID, because if you remember in our foods API, when we retrieve our foods in the, uh, if I can find it, in our get foods method, we assign the ID here, the ID field from the document ID. 
When we press the button, we call delete food, we pass in our food and our callback. And our callback is coming from the previous screen. It's coming from the food list screen. So after the food is actually deleted, this gets called and we log our selected index. We take the food list and we splice it based on the selected index. So that food is now gone. And then we set that as the new food list. And then we pop the navigation stack back to our food list screen. So I hope that all makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, please leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. Yeah, so let's actually try this out now. Reload. Let's add a new food just to test more options here. So we'll call taco Mexican. We'll just add some random stuff here and submit. And now we have three items here. So let's delete the hamburger one. So let's actually go to our React Native debugger. Let's shorten this a bit. And let's clear this for now. Now we will press delete. If we press cancel, nothing happens. But let's press OK and see what happens. Press OK. Uh, we have a error here. So let's go back to our food list screen 45. Probably something basic I missed here. New food list, this dot state dot food list. Ah, okay, sorry. There we go. Okay, so let's reload this again. And let's go back to our console. And you can see that it was deleted, but let's add something else again. Let's do, I don't know, let's just do bread, random thing. Okay, and submit. So let's try to delete taco now, and we'll press delete, and let's do okay. And as you can see, we went back to our food list screen and that item is no longer there. So, and you can see that we logged our selected index. So we can try to add a couple more things here. I want to add some random foods so we have a bigger list to test it with. And let's add one more, just to be sure that our index is working correctly. Okay, let's try to delete four. So it'll be this one here. So we'll delete, delete. And you can see that we have index three because it's zero, one, two, three, four. We can go to our database here to check to reload this real quick. Let's try this one more time just to be sure. We'll delete this one. Okay, yeah, that's deleted now. I think we had an extra one from before because we had that error. So yeah, let's do uh, pizza here, delete, delete. And you can see that's gone now. And now if we reload, we should still have three. Deleting a food item is really easy. Um, this delete food method is pretty much the majority of what you need to know. So yeah, this concludes our video on how to delete an object. So we've gone through all the basic REST procedures for Firebase. We talked about how to retrieve data from our Firestore database. We talked about how to push data to our database. We talked about how to update data in our database. And now we talked about how to delete data in our database. So there's a lot more that we can do with Firebase and we'll be talking about that stuff in the future, including things like images and notifications and cloud functions and all that good stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for more and happy coding. Bye.